In order to simplify project configuration, instead of explicitly specifying source files, integers, and various other compilation directives, you can simply use one or more DVT init auto directives in the build configuration file. By default, DVT scans the project directory and automatically detects how to compile the source code files. For large, complex projects, especially those employing unusual topologies, further fine-tuning might be required. This can be achieved by adding extra auto-configuration-related directives within the init auto section. Use the DVT compilation root directive to point to a different location in case your sources reside elsewhere. In addition, if source files are located in multiple scattered directories, you can specify them using the DVT autoconfig scan root. If the specified directories contain large file system hierarchies, or if the file system access is rather slow, the scanning process might time out, by default after 40 seconds. Most likely, scanning spends time in folders containing non-source files, such as documentation or simulation or regression artifacts. Add the DVT autoconfig debug scan directive to get progress information printed in the console view and easily pinpoint the bottleneck. In such a case, you may consider a more fine-grained and precise selection of scan routes, or use the DVT skip compile directive to skip irrelevant directories. Ultimately, you can increase the timeout using the autoconfig timeout directive. Stray source files residing alongside the relevant ones, such as backup copies, old unmaintained files, drafts and so on, could impact the auto configuration result. To address this issue, simply add one or more DVT skip compile directives. When building the project, for each DVT init auto directive, a corresponding default build auto file is created. It contains the compilation directives resulting from the autoconfig, such as inkdirs or top files, which are eventually used by DVT to compile the code. If the compilation result is not as expected, you should consult the generated configuration flags, as some decisions taken by the autoconfiguration algorithm are documented via embedded comments. For example, we can define a preprocessing symbol to activate particular sections of the code. Note that some of the directives specified within the init auto section are used to steer the autoconfig algorithm, while regular compilation directives are directly reused in the generated auto file.